off this time of the morning? There's a real tang in the air. Yeah, I've never been so focused. Yeah, well, let's hope you take things easy, so. Nikki, we have to talk. Yeah, we can talk later. Well, I wasn't always straight with you when I was drinking, you know? Sure, of course you weren't, love. That's what drink does to you. So there are some things I should tell you. Well, you can tell me over dinner. I'm going to make Chinese. So you can say it with fortune cookies. Maybe we should take you out somewhere. Oh, public displays of affection. Now that is the Paul I married. Back on course. See you later. Yeah. What are you reading? Magazine. Now tell me, what writer's here would be more fascinating than your mother's rashes? What's in? Jobs. In London. I would have thought you'd memorize those by now. I mean, you've looked at nothing else for days. Yeah, well, there's lots of jobs. Yeah, and there's lots of unemployed people in London, too. Have you thought about a place to stay? There's lots of places. Like where? Shop doorways? Look, Lorraine, do you want me to come over and find you somewhere? No, thanks. Lorraine! Leave her, Harry. Did you hear what she said? I don't care. Don't pressure her. And what am I supposed to do? Huh? What am I supposed to say? She wants to throw her life away. Of course you can. Here, let me get your big bin. Yeah, well, tomorrow was supposed to be a wedding day. Just leave her. Okay, six across. American mammal, seven letters. Begins with a B. Bullock. They have bullocks in the States, don't they? Yeah, I think they mean more distinctively American. I mean, bullocks are a bit widespread. Well, Sandra Bullock is American, and she's not widespread. Oh. Worse luck. I'm fairly certain she's a mammal as well. <laughs> morning, all. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Uh, I'm looking for a ham and cheese half to get the takeaway, Gary. Oh, and uh, will you throw in a chocolate chip muffin just to keep me straight up? Lifting a lot of furniture, eh? Well, always not. He's lifting points. Going to an auction in Enfield, I'm doing the driving. Give us whatever he's having, will you, Gary? Oh, and uh, will you give me two of those uh, almond croissants, please, and, and uh, wrap them separately? Okay. Something living in your stomach? Huh? But not for me. For Mags and Dolores. Oh, now there's trouble. When I see a man buying his wife an almond croissant, I know there's been dirty work afoot. Look, I'm feeling a bit down at the moment. Hazel told them they're too old to work at the new place. Jeez, I ask you. Too old. Can you imagine? Huh? It used to be called experience. Well, you know what people want these days, Chaz? Crazy little one and certain hipsters and their neighbors pissed. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. God, I love getting my hair cut these days, right? <laughs> That's seven pounds thirty, please, Bob. Seven pounds thirty. Right, thanks, Thank you. Hey. I've got tickets for a concert for tonight. Hmm, lucky you. I've got two tickets. Go twice. What do you think of Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky? Yeah, he's a Russian guy. He wrote the Nutcracker Suite and things like that. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I bet you thought I didn't, huh? I didn't know you liked classical music. Thought Elvis was more your style. Yeah, well, Elvis, Beethoven, Love Biscuit, you know. I'm a multifaceted, complex individual. Yeah, I heard that. So come on, I got them from a client. I don't want to waste them. Ugh. Hey, you can't have me sitting there on my own. And I promise I won't show up for a request. Okay, you are. Right, pick up before half seven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Thanks all. Thank well, you. Rough calls. Leave you to it. Too hard for you? Oh, beer, so no. Six across. Buffalo. How are you, Eunice? See you're keeping fit. Oh. I hope you're applying some of that energy to brushing up for the quiz. Don't worry, Malachi. My synapses are fully stimulated. I even said a quick prayer to St. Joseph of Cupertino. Well, if an illiterate like that can pass an exam, I can beat Charlie Kelly in a pub quiz. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, how are you, Mike? How's it going? Great. She inside? She is, yeah. Come on, chill. Right. Thanks. See you. Lorraine! Hiya. I missed you. Not as much as I missed you two. <laughs> I kept waiting for the two o'clock feed. Well, that's brilliant. Next time I'll go, you stay here. <laughs> how is Carrickstown, anyway? Did you see anyone interesting lately? Like who? Oh, I don't know. Paul? Well, he came around to see Rachel. Right. When she wasn't well, Mike. Now, don't worry. I love you. And why wouldn't you? Shouldn't I gorgeous? <laughs> well, you're perky enough, anyway. Must be the country air. Did you, um, talk to your parents? No, I didn't make it to Nina at all. And I couldn't tell them something like that over the phone. 
Anyway, do you not hear the news? What news? Oh, major developments in the catering industry. Wild excitement everywhere. Street parties from Cove to Tumivara. What? They're keeping me on. I've been made permanent. Oh, Mike, that's brilliant. <laughs> and I found this great house for us as well. And it's ready to move into this weekend. Thanks, Gina. There you go. for ages. They've torn up more than they've written down. <laughs> Men take these things so seriously. They are serious. I was playing trivial pursuit once, and they asked what Dick Francis's first book was. And the answer they gave was Dead Cert, his first novel. Well, what's wrong with that? His first book was four years earlier. His autobiography. That was what I said. Well, it's hardly earth-shattering, is it? I was on for a piece of pie. I could have won if they didn't get it wrong. Oh, it's shameful. That's what I said in my letter. You wrote to them? Of course I did. You can't let people away with it. The one of us called Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing trivial about a quiz. Tell you what a great game is. What? Strip Monopoly. <laughs> Dermis. Talk about a community chess, what? <laughs> I told you we should have sorted out the categories first. Then we could have been sure it wasn't weighted in anyone's favour. What do you mean, weighted? It's perfectly reasonable. Have this too much sport. Not fair to the women. Well, that's a sexist assumption for a start. Who says women don't know about sport? They don't. Eunice thinks that Tony Adams is a hairdressing salon. Who's Tony Adams? The footballer. Don't tell me you didn't have soccer in the Philippines. Look, I never heard of him. Doesn't that prove me point, in a way? What? I'm not a woman. No, look, take out some of the GEA stuff and put in a few uh, cookery questions. Look, I've got a class straight after lunch. But it has to be done properly. Yeah, well, if we could get at the computers in school, uh, we could do it in a few hours, but I can't. Excuse the kids on them. I don't suppose you'd have uh, access to a laptop? I do not. Uh, Kay has a computer, hasn't she? Well, I don't know if we should ask. Pascal is the man. Hey, Pascal. Uh, we're in a bit of a crisis here. <laughs> and what's the nature of your quandary? Well, we're trying to sort out this quiz thing, but it's hopeless. Is there any chance we could use the uh, computer? Well, we didn't need computers uh, to organize us in my day. Well, what can I say, Pascal? Uh, we're weak. All right, so. You know where it is. Right, thanks. How can I help you? You can pour me a cup. And don't take me for a fool. I beg your pardon. I know something's going on. I'm not blind, you know. Please, uh, could you tell me what you're talking about? I'm telling you to keep your mind on your work and your hands off my husband. Your husband? Second thoughts, I'll get my coffee somewhere else. Single mothers. Can't keep a man of their own. So they have to chase somebody else. But you're not getting mine. I heard what happened. What do you mean? With Ivor, what he did to you. You must feel awful. Uh, yeah. I do, um... Who told you? I suppose Bella told Harry. Mm, confidence. Oh, well, that's okay then. How are you? Hiya. How's Rachel? Much better. Good. Did you, uh, did you get a chance to talk you? Well, we will. We just haven't had much time. Well, you would ask now, though, would you? Yeah, of course. See you. Did we talk about what? Come on, I hate standing around the street. And a flying coffee, Huey. Can't stay long. I have a lad in at half past. What's his hair dyed grey? He's going to a Father Ted party. Grey? Mm. Ash blue might work now if I bleach it down first. Otherwise, he can put on a big hat and go as a bishop. <laughs> Don't let Aunt Clark see him with grey hair. She'll kick him out for being too old. She put him on to me. I think it's just her staff she treats like dirt. Soup, please. Why do I feel my name was on everybody's lips? What are you doing about keeping us our jobs? Look, I'd help you if I could. I don't have the final say. Hazel's taking things up, Margaret. Oh, what are we, teddy girls? If Hazel thinks you're too old, that's her right. I can't make you into a teenager. Well, it's ageist. You could do something. Well, my lease is up soon. If you're so full of fire, why don't you take it over? 
Can I get a quick coffee, Pascal? I'll leave himself in there marvelling at technology. <laughs> He's welcome to it. <laughs> Barry, rescue me from the ladies' brigade. What's up? Greetings, Earth creatures. Dermot. Anne, it's your lucky day. You're leaving the country? Ha, ha. Au contraire. I bought that house just around the corner. We'll be rubbing up against each other constantly. I can't wait. Oh, don't wait. You can help me warm it up. Ciao, Barry. Uh, ciao, Dermot. God almighty. <laughs> you should see the way your eyes light up when he talks to you. <laughs> so, uh, are you going to help him uh, warm it up? Please say he means the house, Barry. Why ask me? What have I got to do with access? She's your daughter. She's my girlfriend's daughter. Ah, she's more than that, Mike. Okay, to us, yeah, but not to a judge. If this came to court, I'd be just some guy. It's not going to court. That's not the point. Look, I transferred back to Ireland because I thought you were leaving some married guy behind in England. I certainly didn't think the father was going to be staggering in front of me every time I turned around, waving a bloody rattle and looking for access. I didn't mean to lie to you. But you did lie. And now I don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to flop around in limbo while you make your decisions. What decisions? I love you. It's easy to say. But you want proof now? What do you want me to do? Marry me. At Danone, creating deliciously healthy dairy products is second nature to us. So our yogurts contain no artificial anything. Nothing but natural goodness and the true taste of fruit. No wonder there's nothing quite like Danone. If you are what you eat, eat the best you can and you'll feel the best you can. Danone. Feel good about what you eat. Right now, any two people can travel together from Dublin to London Heathrow with Aer Lingus for just £119 return. Aer Lingus. fish dip-ins. Fish has never been in such great shape. Only fish worth dipping passes the bird's eye. Still life with Ballygowan. No other water. You can have good looking skin by just investing in this small bar. It completely cleans your face and you don't need to use a moisturizer. Try Dove instead of soap for seven days. Come in, Oscar Delta. Charlie. Permission to land. Kellogg's Sustain. It's the only cereal specifically designed for sportsmen. Serve after serve after serve. And that winning blend of light flakes, juicy raisins, almonds, and apple does help keep you going every morning. Go the distance with Kellogg's Sustain. Every squeeze pack is jumping with juice. Fifteen oranges of flavor let loose. Juicy is juice, fresh as the breeze. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze me a honey, honey, squeeze me. Shake me a honey, honey, shake me. Don't stop, squeeze me a honey. <laughs> They'll cook much quicker if you leave the lid on. Fine, let them boil over. Mm -hmm. How are you, love? Would you like a cup of tea? No. All I could do is one. What's wrong with you? Nothing. And how's with the young fella? Work trouble or girl trouble? Works fine. You thinking about tomorrow? 
Have you seen Lorraine? Yeah, she walked past me. Is she not talking to you? She's probably upset. Can pass. She seemed fine. She said hello and everything. Oh, God love her. I just wish she would have talked to me. But she can't be all chatty straight away, Jim. Give her time. I'll get it. If I'm doing the wrong thing, why do I feel like such a bastard? Ending a relationship isn't comfortable. The more of yourself you pull into something, the longer it takes to get free. You have to live it. Otherwise, it's one night stands for the rest of your life. <laughs> Chance will be a fine thing, huh? Your ain't seem recovered. Well, everyone has their own time. So long as you're honest, Telling the truth when there are no consequences, it's easy. It's when you have to hurt someone that you like, that it takes courage. You were honest with everyone, weren't you? Yeah, I suppose. So stop killing yourself. You told the truth. I wish I had your guts. It's your round. So I'll get you again, are you staying? I'll take a bag, then. Ah, oh, good, good. Gee, that was a good day, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that table, that was solid, though. I mean, these people, they don't know what they're selling, what? Oh, well, no, the one with the freckles now. She had her checkbook out. Nicked in just ahead of her. God, was she sick and what? <laughs> oh, it was a bargain, all right. <laughs> yeah, nearly makes up for the lunch you stuck me for, right? Ah, sure, I'll get you again. Bet you will. See ya. See ya. Yeah, I suppose Natalie won't be home to tea. Fresh back around nine. Kevin's going to forget what she looks like. Don't be super, ma. His feet are coming out of his shoes. Well, I can't do everything, Huey. I have to learn all the, all the capital cities in South America, yes? Look, I'll buy him shoes. I'll buy him a tracksuit as well, okay? I'm only saying. Children can't raise themselves. I'm not asking them to. Okay, shut up, Eunice. Uh, I had a letter from Mensa this morning, Eunice. Never have much to be doing. Yes, they're sending me out the... Uh, Preliminary postal test. Mensa won't want you when you come last in the quiz. Oh, possibly, possibly. Uh, what's the capital of Bolivia? What? The capital city of Bolivia. I'm not telling you. Do your own work. <laughs> Bogota. Look, don't worry about it, ma. Sure, they haven't even settled the questions yet. They were using the computer inside trying to get themselves organized. Really? Yeah. They were putting them on a disc this morning. Oh, very fancy. Hiya. Just came in to see if you wanted anything from the shops. Oh, no, thanks. I'm fine. You could tell me one thing, though. What? What's Sandy Dowling like? What do you mean? She's odd, isn't she? Have you been talking to her? No, she was in earlier. She thought I was after Leo. What do you mean, after him? Oh, she warned me to keep my hands off him. Imagine. Oh, the lads at work say she's a bit jealous, all right. She hates anybody even looking at him. Steer clear of him. She could snap at any minute, and you don't want to be on the firing line. But sure, I work with Leo. I can't help seeing him. I'll see him all you like. Just don't look at him. Hi. Hey, aiming for the casual look, huh? I'm not going. Did you tell Harry Malloy about Ivor? Yeah, well, it might have slipped out, me. He swore him to confidence, you mm, He swore Dolores to confidence. She's probably out there now, swearing some stranger at a bus stop to confidence. That's what gossip is. Harry's a friend. You know, it just came out. Yeah? Why didn't you just drive around with a loudspeaker? So bloody humiliated. What can I say? Hmm? Ah, you say things too easily. Okay, I'm sorry. I just made a mistake, you yeah? Fine. Right. Now throw on some clothes. I'll try to taxi. You said you're sorry. I said that's fine. Now, I'm staying here on my own tonight. You can do what you like. So you're not coming to the concert, eh? I thought we were friends. Harry Malloy is your friend. Take him. Just two mineral waters for the moment. Sparkling for Paul and light for me. Thanks. Okay, coming up. Light. A bit of diet water now, yeah? There's just a few more bubbles in it. It's gentler on the palate. Oh, you know, I'm so glad we're eating out more often. It's nice not to be in a smoky pub all the time. Yeah, and it's um, easier to talk. Mm -hmm. And play footsie. Oh, look at 
Helen and Mike. Helen, over here. Leave them, Nicola. Look, why don't you join us? Uh, it's OK, we've booked a table. Oh, not at all. Come on, we make a party <laughs> of it. You don't mind, Sandy? Oh, no. Maybe they want to be on their own, Nicola. Oh, come on, Paul, we never see each other. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Grab a few there, Mike. The women have spoken. Thanks, Nicola. Oh, you're obviously reading somebody special. I love the outfit. It's a loose arrangement. He might turn up here. Do I know him? Oh, well, I hardly know him myself. What time do you close at? Last order's around 11. Yeah, well, I might be back before then. So you're working all night, are you? Oh, I am, yeah. No rest for the wicked. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, now, isn't this much coat this year? I'm just going to the loo. She's looking lovely, isn't she? You know, I think motherhood really suits Helen. She still has that bloom about her, doesn't she, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, she looks great. <laughs> so, how's parenthood suiting you, Mike? Well, it's a bit scary in some ways. Mm, the responsibility. That's not so much that. But a baby makes you realise what you're capable of, especially when there's just the three of you. I mean, if anyone tried to cut across that bond... God, you make it sound like a war. Well, being a father means being there all the time, even when you're not there physically. All your energy is focused on the mother and your child. You can't just flick it on and off like a light switch. Very true. I agree with you, Mike. The child should have a father who's there. Oh, it's Helen. We're surrounded by new men. <laughs> Are we? You'd never expect men to think so deeply about fatherhood. <laughs> oh, their mummies would be proud of them. Hello. Come in. Well, I'll never do this again. What, ring doorbells? You can't just call around. What do you mean, this is kid stuff we're at? How do you know Sandy isn't here? Because I checked, she's working. Oh, clever girl. No, you got a talent for this. <laughs> yeah, well, one of us has to. I mean, what happened yesterday? Something I couldn't get out of. Look, what we're doing isn't easy, you know. You gotta duck and weave and keep on dancing. You know, it's part of the fun. Yeah, well, being stood up isn't fun. Come on, there's no excitement without danger. It's part of the risk. Sometimes it doesn't work. Next time you'll stand me up. Yeah, too right of well, it. It's like juggling fire. Every so often you get singed, but, you know, at least you know you're alive. Anyway, I'll make up for it. I don't want you to make up for it. In fact, I'm not sure I want you to do anything. Look, I've explained everything to Sandy about the scarf. All she needs to do is take a few deep breaths and she'll be off my back. Yeah, well, it doesn't sound like it. She torn to my mother McCoy's. Oh, really? Look, she's just blowing <sighs> off steam. You know? Yeah, well, steam burns. I know, I know. You're just gonna have to convince her that Wayne had the girl in the car. You're a good friend of his, aren't you? Why couldn't you be the girl? What? Come on, Sandy, go for it. You're a good little actress. No, uh, I don't know. Come on. It would be a game. Oh, a game? And, uh, what other games do you play? <laughs> would you like any dessert? Just a bit, please. Okay. Nice, isn't it? I don't know where my appetite went. No, yeah. strange. I'll make that sometimes. Oh, two kebabs, Brennan. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. Here I get this. I've got a talk. No, Mike, come on. Uh, we invited you over. We'll split it. No, let me get it. Should we never see each other together? We'll see more of you now, Helen. Yeah, I'm sure we will. You know, you'll have to call over to us some night. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Right. Good night now. Good night. Nice. It was a laugh a minute, wasn't it? Mike is very moody. Yeah, well, he's from Nina. Must be in the water. Well, he looked like he wants to pump you. Yeah, well, I think they think I've been giving you a hard time, you know, with the drink and all that. Shake it. Shake it. You know, I'm so proud of you, really. Everything you've done. 
<laughs> you don't know what I've done? None of you. All I need to know. Look, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you earlier in the park. I understand perfectly. You were right. I should have been honest with you from the start. It's okay. You know Jimmy and Lorraine were supposed to get married tomorrow? Is he upset? It wouldn't be the best time to announce an engagement. I know. You're right. Pal Camry Specialta, August Strala Fuma, 